Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. I'm not gonna lie, the last thing I want to do today is film a video for YouTube. I had a lot of bad luck this morning and I just wasn't feeling getting up in front of the camera and talking extremely loud and obnoxiously to you guys. My solution to my feeling of not wanting to film a video is to react to something. It's one of the easiest ways to produce an interesting piece of content because all I need to do is critique what other people are doing. So today we're going to react to an extreme cheapskates episode. This one should be good. The title of this episode is Mom Makes Family Wash Clothes in Their Swimming Pool. Extreme Cheapskates. This episode of Extreme Cheapskates seems extremely interesting. I used to watch Extreme Cheapskates once in a while, like back a couple years ago, and I always thought it was a little bit weird. But since then, I've kind of changed my mind on personal finance and saving money, and I've become more of a frugal person. So I'm sure I'm going to be a little bit more lenient on the crazy things that people are doing in Extreme Cheapskates now than how I thought about it just a couple of years back. So guys, with that all being said, we're going to go ahead and watch this episode of Extreme Cheapskates. I like to go and spin on my little bike to get my workout on. Getting on it and pedaling, I'm just in that zone and I get burning. You feel the burn? I'm listening to my tune. Okay, wait a second. Is she in a store? Like you can see the background right here. It looks like she's in some sort of bike shop working out. Okay, I, I need to see this. It just feels good to exercise, and I just love it. Okay, she's definitely in a store. I don't know why the owner is not going to kick her out. Like, why is he letting her work out on the equipment in the store? Unless he thinks that she's actually going to buy something, which, by the title, she's an extreme cheapskate. So I'm guessing she won't spend, like, $200 on a workout bike, but... Let's keep watching. All right, here's your stuff. I see Jenny probably two times a week. When Jenny first came, I thought she was in the market to purchase a piece of exercise equipment. Most customers will come in and uh, you know demo the equipment maybe two or three times before making a purchase. So this guy sees her two times every single week and doesn't kick her out of the store. He knows she's not going to buy anything. She's just taking advantage of all of the equipment in the facility. So I'm very confused. Why the heck... Doesn't he kick her out? Let's see. <laughs> All right, thanks guys. I appreciate it very much. Good luck this season. After six or seven visits, I realized that Jenny wasn't here to demo yes. the equipment. <laughs> My habits may be extreme to some people, but I show it off to everybody, whatever it is. It makes me happy. Bye. Tell bye. Bye. Instead of going to gyms, I just go to these sporting goods stores for about 45 minutes a day. Right. See it going to a gym paying for a membership. I mean, that's like $75 a month. Okay, you can get gym memberships way cheaper than $75 per month. And instead of going to a store like that and working out, you can just run for free. Like it's free to run on the sidewalk and you won't have to embarrass yourself. Or you can get like a very cheap gym membership. I bet you there's super cheap gym memberships at a place like Planet Fitness. Let's look up how much it costs. I think it's like $10. Exactly. $10 a month and you can get go to a gym instead of going in a place that sells gym equipment. Let's keep watching. It doesn't cost me a dime to work out in that sporting goods store. I've always been really cheap and it's just kind of been something that I have always done. I just get a good feeling out of not spending a lot of money, but yet still accomplishing whatever goal. That's a very fair point. I like not spending a lot of money and still getting the same results and the same amount of fun. She makes a very good point. She's still getting her workout in and she's not spending any money on it. I don't agree how she's getting a free workout because there's a lot better ways to get your workout in for free, but I do respect how she's trying to save money and she's living smart instead of spending $100 or $75 on a gym membership. Even though you can get one cheaper, she's being smart. I would rather her do that than spending a ton of money on a gym membership. Well, I have. I absolutely hate spending money on things that I can't see the next day if it's gone. On the average, most people, they fill up their tanks once, twice a week. 
it can cost $60, $70 to fill up a tank. And then you go home and park your car in the garage and you may not go nowhere. So you just spent $60 to sit. Hey. I don't get at all what she meant there because if you fill up your tank and don't drive, you still have the gas in your tank. Like if I go fill up my entire tank on my car and don't drive it, then I still have the full tank next time I drive. So there's really no point in not spending a lot of money on gas because you're gonna need gas to get places. And if you don't drive your car, you're not gonna use gas. So I don't get her point at all. Can I get $3.36 worth of gas? You sure can. Then she's just going to need to get gas more frequently. Why doesn't she just fill it up while she can? And then she doesn't need to make the extra trips to the gas station. So in essence, she is actually wasting more gas by go having to get gas more frequently. When it comes to gas, gas is kind of like makeup. You know, less is more. When you buy less, you use less. And you save more. When I get gas, I only get a gallon at a time. One gallon of gas, one gallon a day, saves me money restricts where I go. So I guess it's a mindset thing for her that sort of does make sense, but it also means more trips to the gas station, which in turn mean more gas costs because you're driving that extra mile or two to the gas station out of your regular route. So if we're really counting gas like she is, she is spending a little bit extra gas going to the gas station. So I don't know how much of a difference this actually makes for her. I'm hardcore about our bills that we have to pay and making them as little to nothing as possible. This is my toilet where I save money on water. Best way to save money is water displacement. Putting a brick in the back of it is going to make the water level go up a little bit and it's not going to use as much water. Since I've been putting bricks in it, I've noticed a huge change in our water bill. We use 350 less gallons a month. I mean, that kind of does make sense. Like, it saves you some money, and does it really affect your lifestyle? No, not at all. I don't think it's bad. When we bought the house in 2006, we paid cash for it, and we saved money by doing so. And the pool came with the house. Not bad, not bad. They paid cash for a house. They must be doing something right with money. I respect her now. I still keep the pool because I got three kids and we don't go on a lot of expensive vacations. So I figure, you know, that's kind of like a vacation. Just go out and get in the pool. We've tried to figure out every way possible to save money on running and keeping up this pool. What is that? Is that milk and water? <laughs> They're using the pool wisely, but I think that's a bit extreme and I don't know how sanitary that is. One way to save money on this pool is to reduce the size of the pool. It's just like putting a brick in a toilet. I save money. Oh, so her point is they put stuff in the pool so there's not as much water in the pool. I feel like she's doing some of this stuff just for the show. Like, I highly doubt she does this in real life. Because how much of a difference does that actually make? Probably just a couple cents. Like, why? Why would she be doing this? Like, it literally makes almost no difference financially. I recycle my plastic containers and I fill them up with sand. Hey, I'll take that. Yes, let me go. All Let's right. go, hop too. Go. to jump off those bales. I mean, I love them. I mean... So, she puts stuff in the pool, her kids have fun playing with it, and I guess it saves her a couple pennies every single day, so good for her. I'm gonna, like, go in the middle of my fish. This is the only pool in town which has bears and bark containers of sand in it. The people people usually that. don't do that. Been cheap since I was probably a little kid. My dad had a small business and he had to find ways to get through a lot of hard times and he showed me how to think outside the box. She's putting her laundry in the pool. Really? Like, I don't know how disgusting this pool could be. Like, she puts random milk jugs with sand in it. She puts 
you know, clothes. I would not want to swim in this pool if I were those kids. Like, it seems really nasty to me. Went through some hard times and it influenced me as a child growing up to deal with how to be a problem solver. Yeah, I mean, it's good to save money and, and all that, but what she's doing really doesn't make that much of a difference. Like, how she goes to the gas station, like, five times a week because she only puts a gallon at a time in her car, that wastes a ton of her time, and she could spend that time having a side hustle and making some money. We grew up with that idea of just make it work. I'm doing my laundry in the pool because the chemicals that are in the pool are similar to the ones that are found in laundry detergents. Running the washing machine, Cost money. Washing clothes in the pool is weird. It makes me feel like I'm in 1912. <laughs> that is a good point. She refuses to use the washing machine because it costs money, which I can respect, but washing it in the pool is a little bit weird. Why doesn't she just wash it in a bucket? Like, at least get pool water and then put it in a bucket with some soap and wash it like that. Why does she have to do it right in the pool? I feel like she's just doing that for the show. It feels like, oh my gosh, when's Benjamin Franklin going to come along and invent the electricity? <laughs> very expensive to maintain this pool and I've done a lot of research to find ways to save money on it. The cleaners and everything cost a lot of money. The average pool owner spends about $3,200 a year to maintain their pool. Yeah, so she's doing it herself. Fair enough. A lot of people do that. I definitely respect it. Instead of using regular pool cleaners to clean our pool, we use baking soda. If it works just as well, why not? Bacon soda is the same compound as pool cleaners. It's a lot cheaper though. Bacon soda is like 40 cents a pound and the chemicals are like $1.10 a pound. Borax incre increases the pH in the pool. My pool skimmer broke. So overall, with how she's cleaning the pool herself and using different chemicals, I don't really think that's weird at all, because if it brings the same result, if the pool is just as clean, I can't blame her. So I just took a pair of paint hose, stretched it over the top, and boom. There you go. Got a pool skimmer. I ain't buying a new one. I figured out a lot of ways to save money on stuff around the house, but it's the cost of running that pool, you know, that, that really bothers me. The biggest cost of running this pool is filtering the water. I'm sure there's a lot of maintenance having to filter the water because you put dirty clothes in there, you put sand in there, and all that weird stuff. If you didn't put it in the pool, maybe you would save some money on cleaning and filtering the water. I have to filter the water in my pool or else it'll get nasty. This is my problem. Each month, running this pool filter cost us an extra $200. Wow, that is a lot of money. Holy smokes. Like, that is a lot of money. Filtering water, wow, that's, that's a big issue. Homes with pools use about 49% more energy than those without. I've done some research. I want to figure out a way to power this filter without paying any money. Now that is worth your time. $200 a month is worth your time, but not like 10 extra dollars in a water bill or a little bit extra dollars in gas. $200 is the big problem. You should be focusing your time on saving money with that. What, what, what's going on here? If I could get you to just hold this exactly like it is. Okay. Hang on, watch your fingers. If I build a bike generator to run my pool filter, it will cost me nothing on my power bill. This is definitely- Smart, she's being very inventive. I don't think this is a bad idea at all. It's gonna work, because it's gonna take a lot of pedaling. Jenny's pedal power turns the belts, which rotates a car alternator. As the alternator spins, it creates an electrical current. I mean, you gotta think outside the box sometimes. That's for sure. Yeah. Which Jenny hopes can provide enough power to run her pool filter. So how much is the bike? So if I'm getting this right, 
she's going to create some sort of power by riding a bike and she's going to manually ride the bike to run the pool filter. So, I mean, it's still a multi-purpose. She's getting her exercise in and she's cleaning her pool and saving $200 a month at the same time. This might be the best idea she's had the entire episode. The bike is $199, $200, which is a good deal. Yeah, I just can't do it. Well, it's one month. It's one month of your pool expenses. If you can take the risk with the 200 bucks, you could save a ton of money doing this. When he told me it was $200, I just, it just hit me. I wish I could, but I can't give it away. I can't, I can't do it, it hurt. That Extreme Cheapskates episode was definitely an interesting one. That lady was spending so much time just trying to save a couple of pennies every single month. I definitely recommend that she would maybe instead spend that time on a side hustle to try and earn some extra money. That is just my opinion because some of the things she's doing really don't make that big of a difference and it wastes a lot of her time in a day. Anyways, everyone, that is just my opinion. Please be sure to drop a comment what you think about that lady down in the comment section below. With that all being said, we're going to about wrap up the video. Please be sure to drop a like if you have not already, and also check out some more videos on the Financial Wolf channel. Peace out.